Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Um, for those of you who haven't watched my videos before, I'm Greta and I am with Artsphere. So today we are going to be creating a Van Gogh Starry Night Mobile. And for anyone who doesn't know what a mobile is, it is just a decorative structure that hangs freely. So let's get right into it. You're going to need a couple materials for this lesson. You're going to need some string, um, scissors, and a pencil. You are going to need something to decorate with, and I'm going to be using chalk today. And then you're going to need a piece of cut out cardboard. And um, you're also going to want an extra piece of cardboard to cut out the pieces that are going to be hanging. So the first step of this lesson is we are going to be creating with this piece of cardboard essentially a box with kind of the middle cut out. And I'll show you what I mean by that. But the first thing we're going to do is just create two inches from each side. So we're going to do a horizontal line going across the top about two inches from the top of the cardboard and then two inches from the left side and two inches from the right side. Okay, so I have kind of like a box shape tracing the um, top and the sides and then for my bottom we are going to be starting the landscape so that's going to be the second step we're going to start to draw out the landscape of starry night and i recommend pulling up a picture of starry night just on your laptop or your phone so you can kind of see um, the features to draw but i'm going to be starting out with the big tree-like structure that's kind of in the center left corner of the painting. Um, I personally think it looks like hair, so that's kind of a good way to think about it when you're drawing. It's just kind of going to be this like wispy, organic-like shape. So you can just draw that out. And you're going to want this to take up um, a good amount of room on the cardboard and go almost all the way up to the top. Okay, so I have my shape right there and then I'm going to move on to the rolling mountains and the houses in the foreground. Okay, so I have drawn out my little landscape, kind of the bottom half of the landscape and one of the things I love about this painting is Van Gogh doesn't make his kind of landscape features obvious. So they can kind of be whatever you want them to be, which I think is really cool and it allows us to use our imagination. Um, so once I have that landscape done, we are going to be cutting out the sky and starting our mobile aspect of this project. So we just want to cut out all around the objects that we have drawn and then the area within this box we created on the top and the sides. This part can be a little bit tricky, so if you struggle with cutting things out, you might want to ask an older sibling or a parent for some help. Okay, so here is what it looks like once it is all cut out. And this kind of um, negative space, this is where we're going to be hanging the sky section and our mobile part of this lesson. So we are going to be cutting out our sky shapes. So this is where the other piece of cardboard comes into play. And what we're gonna do, is look at our Van Gogh picture and kind of start drawing out these cloud um, star sun shapes. So um, these are really fun. They're really organic and just abstract. So 
we can um, definitely like play around with these. Don't be afraid to kind of make your own adjustments to them. Okay, so here are some of the shapes that I've drawn. Um, feel free to add shapes if you want. Um, and also make sure that the shapes aren't too big because you want them to fit in this little boxy area. So after you have all the shapes that you want, we are going to decorate everything. So this is where we get to draw and um, you want to color everything on your separate piece of cardboard and then you want to draw and color in this landscape um, on your like main piece of your mobile. Okay, so I colored in all of my sky shapes as well as my landscape. Um, and I'm ready now to do the second to last step, which is cutting the shapes out um, and then getting ready to hang them. So the last step we are gonna take is to hang our little sky objects. And how we're gonna do this is cut little holes into this top beam and then cut a little hole in your shape and then using your string you can hang the shape from the hole you put in this top section. Okay so once you have hung up all of your little sky pieces the lesson is complete and I just poked the holes um, with my scissors um, and I used just string. Fishing line also works really well. But yeah, um, thank you for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will be back soon with another lesson for you.